it was taco night last night. <laughs> I've, been, I've been watching Jeep do this for like two minutes off camera. I'm sorry, I didn't film it. Welding's pretty much done on the bus. So today, big goal of the day is gonna be starting to get all of the different Bondo body fillers, all the different welds filled on the side of the bus. And we've gotta start getting all the wirings, you know, wired up, get all the back LEDs in, brake lights, things like that. It's just gonna be a lot more projects. First thing I'm gonna do is start in the front of the bus, work my way around the entire thing so I don't forget anything and just sand all of these different spots you see on the side of the bus larger so that I can get some good Bondo on there without dealing with the paint. So I've gotta get these little spots, you know, a bit bigger, kinda of just move all of my way through. I'm trying to get it done before Jeet gets here tonight. He's currently back at the house working, so I wanna to try to get all of this done before he shows up, just because I think it'd be fun and I like to set myself some goals. I just like to. See if I can get it done. Uh, he'll be here later, like I said, and then we're just gonna keep moving on stuff. I've got this side completely sanded out where I've got enough room where I can get Bondo on all the weld spots and stuff just to kind of get it nice and smoothed out. Uh, I'm really glad that I put like crazy amount of effort into the side of the bus that no one ever hangs out on or takes any time to really care about besides the driver. I mean, we like to like make everything look good and all, but it always makes me laugh when I'm like, you know, putting so much work in and then realize, oh, this is the driver's side, the side that everyone hangs out on and actually like, you know, has a campfire and makes dinner and stuff is on this side. Hopefully this side comes out cleaner than the other one, <laughs> just because then it might take a little bit less time. But at this point, I'm gonna get one layer of Bondo on this side while we've got the barn warm and everything's good to go. Uh, we're getting a really weird, you know, series of weather right now. It's January, no, it's still December, uh, but it's like 47 degrees outside, which is unheard of up here. Um, it's like two years ago I was hiking, it was negative 20. Last year it was in the single digits. Uh, this year we're almost 50 degrees. So 50 degrees equals, might as well take advantage of it. Let's get some Bondo on here. Uh, we burn a heck of a lot less wood over here in the stove right now. Let's see what we can get done. This side, completely bondoed. It may just look like light blue on dark blue, but I'm telling you, just having the bondo on there and not the weld spots just makes it look so much better. Uh, next thing on the list that I'm gonna be doing is obviously the back section be sending out, but these right here, I've got to fill. These used to be for the license plate lights and the reverse lights, so we're gonna be obviously replacing those with big LEDs. So I gotta weld these closed. Uh, what I'm gonna be doing, I used a quarter, fits perfectly, so I traced out a little quarter, and then surprisingly or not, a quarter actually fits perfectly in the hole. So that's the size we need. You know, it's already the perfect size. Just not gonna work too well, nor weld too well. So I gotta make two of those, tack those in, sand out the back, and then bondo that up. Guess we move on to this side. Perfect! Well, it's uh, it's come to later in the day where well, Jeet, with what? Stop walking out of frame. I you said we we're playing hide and seek. No, we're not playing hide and seek. Well, you gotta... Jeet's out of work, so he's back for the uh, I guess the yeah, night. If the anyone's evening. hiring, let me know. I'm out of work. Yeah, he's out of work now. It's he's only available from 5 p.m. to 8:30, 9 uh, a.m. But you know, he'll he'll work double shift if he's not working on the bus. He's standing out the back at this point because we're trying to continue the bondo around the whole sides. I just got all the welding and grinding done on this side of the bus and all of this side of the bus. Now it's just a whole bunch of sanding areas so we can get the Bondo on. It just smells a lot like Bondo in here. If anyone knows that smell, the body filler smell, that's the smell that we have in here right yeah. now. While I'm finishing up sanding this front section and some spots on the sides of the bus, what Jeet's currently doing is he just used the air riveter and is trying to get all of the rivets out of the top of the windows for the sheet metal. Trying. Trying? Trying. I'm trying. I'm doing. You're doing. I'm doing. It's happening. You see it? I got the drill and the hammer. I even got a, even got coveralls. You see these? Badge would be so proud. Yeah, I forgot to send him a message saying, hey, I got coveralls. Oh, well, now he'll know. Hey, Badge. Hey, all. So Jeet's been working on the rivets. Uh, he just got all of these side panels off the windows from all the hat channels, currently working on the other side. 
but this is the final point where the whole purpose of doing this is because we're ready to put sheet metal on. So he's got all of the top ones out, all of the bottom rivets out, getting these pieces off. Uh, he's also got these edge ones off, which are, it's gonna, the sheet metal will slide under this back panel. And then once we get it all cut and sheeted, drill the holes, and then we can just install it, which should be fairly easy. Right, Jeet? Fairly easy. easy. Everything's easy once you do it. Yeah, everything's easy. And everything yeah. takes 10 minutes, like we yeah, always say. Yeah, ask me in nine minutes. All right, uh, well, you're working on getting those pieces off, so I guess we'll start doing that and get moving on it, huh? Well, yeah, I mean, if you want, you can take the, uh, the, the, the that thingy. What thingy? That thing. What thing? That one over there. That thing? That, one. that Milwaukee tool? Yeah, that one. Okay. And the then just, and then, and then. Oh, you through. didn't finish getting all those off? Okay. Uh, on this side I did, the other side I did not. Okay, all right, I'll start working on that. <laughs> Still filming. There's a lot of pressure when you're when the camera's in your face. Like I know it doesn't matter, but there's a lot of pressure. Everyone's watching you, G. They are. We got everything off the one side. So now what we're looking at is breaking off these rivets right here so that this is where the uh, sheet metal will slide into. Then this piece right here on the window will come off. And then there's one more in the back that we're gonna be taking off. Uh, it's this piece right here. And then these rivets will get, or sorry, pointing the wrong side. These rivets will get reused and that's where the sheet metal will go into. This side's pretty easy. It's just flat and straight. It's just long. Uh, I think it's gonna take about two sheets. This side is not necessarily harder. It's just gonna be harder to gut because we have to take this sheet out, which is tied into the emergency door. So there's a bit with the hinges and weight and we just wanna make sure we're careful with that. And then up here, uh, we just gotta slide it into the door frame, which Jeet's gonna be taking out and he wants to put in a kind of permanent door, not use the bus door. We wanna put the sheet metal back in, but we don't necessarily, we're not taking the door out right now. So he still wants it to be functional. So there's kind of like, we gotta think about how we wanna do this right, but make sure we do it where he can still do what he wants to do in the future. That's a lot of do's. There's a lot of things to do. There's a lot of do-do. There's a lot of do's. <laughs> All right, well at this point, Jeet's gonna keep getting the rest of those rivets out so we can get the plates off. And then I'm gonna go around the bus and clean up all these caulk lines and stuff so that we'll start getting ready for sheet metal. And then hopefully by the end of the day, the inside of the bus will be completely dark with no light because everything will be sheet metaled. Hey, Jay. Hey, Mike. There's a lot more new uh, holes in your bus. How do you feel about that? <sighs> well, it's not Sunday, but I feel pretty holy. Oh my gosh, you are so quick with these things. <laughs> <laughs> we should take your phrases and put them on Dale shirts. That's a good idea. All right, well, we got all of the side pieces out in all four corners, so now it's time to start measuring the sheet metal that's over there. Cut it, hope we do it right and we, we should be good to go. What's the saying? Cut twice, measure once? We only have four sheets, just we can't So we can cut up. four times we just if we measure once. No, yes, <laughs> but then you're only gonna get one sheet up. <laughs> oh, sheet. Yeah, <laughs> oh, sheet. We just test fit the sheet. It actually was way easier than we thought it was gonna be yeah. in terms of just, you know, <laughs> prep work. But uh, as we always say, the prep work is where pretty much half the time goes and then you just put up a sheet and everything looks different. Jeet's been uh, kind of laughing at the fact that just today more has happened visually than he feels like has happened through the whole build and that's just because it's, that's what it is. Yeah, <laughs> that's it's, been a, it's been a lot of deconstruction. Yeah, and now we're doing sheet metal and then the, when the spray foam and everything and visually things start happening, it, yeah. it just makes you feel more motivated. He's been kind of going through the grind right now. Mike started painting so. this and I was like, oh my gosh, we're finally doing something, <laughs> we're adding to it. <laughs> yeah, no more removing. Uh, we just got it to test fit though and everything up here on our top ridges are opened up and good to go. Um, our problem right now is we got to get this a little bit wider. Um, I think right here it gets too tight and then, so we'll just widen that up and then we just got to start riveting and riveting. Oh, oh, did you, did you say rivets? No, no, I said it's going to be quite riveting. She 
Luke just bought a new riveter, so he's gonna test it out. We just put the oil and hydraulic fluid in it, hoping it works, because uh, if it doesn't, this whole like we're gonna work until we fall asleep thing's gonna not work out too well. Uh, but we'll see how this first one goes. Test it! Oh, well, that sure ain't gonna work, bud. <laughs> oh my gosh. Why is that happening? Come on, Jeet, go for it. <laughs> It worked though. <laughs> it worked. So you got all your hair out. Did you get all the dairy hair out, man? You good? It was taco night last night. You should try to see if another one works real quick. <laughs> I've been I've been watching Jeet do this for like two minutes off camera. I'm sorry I didn't film it sooner. <laughs> oh my goodness. Oh gosh. It works. I think we just put a little too much. Uh. Oil in. <laughs> All right, now that Jeet's done making noise over there, uh, we're gonna now get the actual, uh, you know, sheet up, start drilling the holes, get the rivets in, and just hope that we don't end up spraying hydraulic fluid all over the side of the bus because it sure seems like Jeet is uh, making waves over there. <laughs> cool. <laughs> First one. Woo! That's so much better than popping rivets. All right, Jeet got his first two rivets in on the top. Now what we have to do is start drilling down, or down, I guess across, across. the entire top. Uh, we're gonna get all the top rivets in so the sheet's just hanging. Then we're gonna start over here and mark out with a chalk line all of our different ribs and everything we're gonna need to do. And then start putting all those in, do the bottom. And it's literally just gonna be like, I'm not gonna do the math, like a lot of rivets. So uh, right now, we're just gonna get drilling. I gotta push from the back because Jeet's gonna be pushing from this way and then the sheet's just kind of flopping, which doesn't really work with drilling well. Uh, so I'm gonna go on the inside, Jeet will be on the outside, and this is gonna be like 30 minutes at least in real time. You right? said you, you prefer YouTube time? Prefer fake time. Well, you can just watch the video if you want. Go go home. Oh, okay. Bye, Jeet. <laughs> Alright Jeet. Alright Mike. We got the entire top row done. Both sheets are in, they're crossed, they're metal bonded. How do you feel? You've been been working hard for a few months. How do you feel? More like hardly working. Oh, oh wait, don't tell my boss. The crazy thing now is when you walk inside his bus, it's kind of weird because this side is like all school bus conversion ready for RV windows pretty soon and framing. And then this side is like old school bus, windows were just removed, this is what it used to look like. You know, kind of nice before and after going on in here. I know a lot of times, like Jeet said, you watch these YouTube videos and it looks like everything happens in like 20 minutes. And the truth is, is like, it doesn't ever. Every 20 minutes takes 20 minutes. Every 20 minutes takes 20 minutes. Wait, every 20 minutes on film takes 20 minutes in real life? No, no, just every 20 minutes takes 20 minutes. Well, oh, that's deep. This side is not 100% done, and we just made a decision to actually move on from this side because all of the ones that are going to be in the field that hit the hat channels and the ones on the bottom, G can now do by himself. The top ones are the hard ones, the back ones getting the sheets actually held up. Uh, and since Jeet, as we've talked about before, works during the day, and I'm typically working on Ivan during the day, uh, the best use of our time since we're together right now is to move on to this side and try to get them hung. Because at least if they're hung, once again, G can do it by himself while I'm working on something else. Uh, so we're going to divide and conquer. We're going to move to this side, get these sheets cut up, and then try to get them all mounted up. And pretty much we're going to make your bus a big dark hole. And then what's your, what's your uncle? Bob. Bob's your uncle. Bob's your uncle. I don't have an Uncle Bob. Maybe they do. Tight, ready? Tight. Look at that. Can't see. Let's do your side oh, no. first. I gotta get... You want, well, while you're there, can you get the clamp? Go. Oh. Ah! Ah! First sheet is up because this is Jeet sheet. Jeet sheet. And we're just gonna keep trying to make as many rhymes as we can with Jeet's name as possible. Uh, we only have it clamped in and then we just have one rivet pinned in over here just holding it, but this one's up. 
Uh, we're gonna get the other one cut right now just so everything's done and ready to go. And then we're just gonna try to work the perimeter. So once again, we get these up so that it's a one person job rather than a two person job. So uh, we're gonna cut this other sheet, get that one mocked up, and then hopefully get this side riveted down and get Jeet's bus back into a, uh, you know, somewhat of a shape. A shape. Hey, round is a shape. Me. But you weren't using it. I was. I was using it. No, 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 one more. Don't go all the way. Well, we're not gonna be able to finish this entire side. The rivet gun broke. I had to run all the way down to the store, get a new one, come back up. Jeet got that one all working. Well, actually, let me rephrase. Jeet got that one all put together, then tried to test it. When he tried to test it, <laughs> now the entire thing broke, and now he's got this one apart. Now we're trying to fix this one. Yeah, that's pretty much what happened. So at this point, we're gonna call it here. This is where the video is gonna end. And we're gonna get back to sheet metal whenever we get a new rivet gun. Next video, we're probably working on Ivan or Navi or Jeet's bus. Who knows? We're working.